Hello, welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your game and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight, the question we are answering is, what's in the box in regards to this? And I gotta say, it doesn't look like much, because this is just the shipping package. Inside this is a set of the Legendary Metal Coins Season 6 from Draw Lab Games. This is a set of fantasy and sci-fi metal coins that are actually currently live on Kickstarter as I record this video. And if you're watching this on uh, one of the other channels, they on YouTube, they'll actually still be live when this goes live. Now, if it's been a couple weeks, Kickstarter is probably done, but I know you can get these from Draw Lab as well, and there will be links to all of that down below. Enough about that. We're going to open up this box and take a look what's in here. So I admit I cheated. I looked at one pack uh, during our Tabletop Bellhop live stream on Wednesday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern, twitch.tv slash Tabletop Bellhop. And I did peek at one pack, but I only see one pack. And you'll see that pack on top. So we have one pack here on top. And then some packing peanuts and a whole bunch more packs underneath. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tip the camera down. And then we're going to open up each of these. So to start, I'm going to take all these out, throw these onto the desk. And you can hear the metal tank here. Oh, there's potions. Potions. I'm making a mess with the packing peanuts. All right, that's all of them. Nothing left in there. So here is the pile of metal coins that came in here. So what this is, is one of each set of every coin in the Legendary Metal Coins Season 6. They each come in their own little package with a thing explaining what they are. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up each of these and show off each of the coins in each of the six different sets. Now, this is one way you can purchase these on Kickstarter is this uh, what they call the collector's package. So if you just want to like put these on display or whatever, you can get them like this. There are other ways they do it. It doesn't look like all of them have three coins, so that's interesting. So I'm just going to slide these aside. We're going to take one at a time. Now this is the one I personally have looked at already and was very impressed by. So these are the forged dragon coins from Legendary Metal Coins. And again, you can hear them. These are made of zinc coated with different metals. And we're going to start with the copper in every case, assuming there's a copper, a silver, and a gold. So here's the copper coin, which has a dragon on the front. And what I really want to showcase here is, hopefully you can see it, is the depth that these are engraved. And then on the other side, you have a swirly dragon. So you have heads and tails, basically. you got a dragon head, and then you have the dragon's full body on the other side. And what I was really impressed by is the depth. Uh, there is nothing on the edges, at least on this particular set. So that is the copper. Then we have the silver, which... Again, has a dragon head on one side with some patterns. What I really like about this is that it's very tactile. So if someone has vision problems, it's going to be very easy to tell these apart just by touch. And then the other side, we have an abstract dragon with a pattern around the outside edge. Kind of a Celtic pattern. And again, the depth of these is really impressed me. Like how, how much detail there is on them. Then finally, we have the gold coin, which this one has a dragon with a, a knotwork pattern around the outside edge and an Ouroboros style dragon around a dragon egg. Now the other thing I want to show off is that they are different sizes but not by much. So you can kind of see the three different sizes here. They are all the same thickness. So the copper is copper colored, the silver is silver colored, and the gold is gold colored. So again the, the weight of these is less than I would expect. I think because they're zinc, I think some of the other publishers who have made metal coins use um, something a little heavier. But they still have that nice metallic tang. They have a nice feel to them. So that was the Forge Dragon set. Next we have Adventure Potions. This is the Adventure Potions set. Which is an awesome concept. I would love many of these to be honest. And what I would use these for. So we'll hold this up so you can see it. Adventure Potions is I would use these to give my players in a D&D game to represent the fact that they have a healing potion or something. So this has a lacquered color red on the bottom of it and it's shaped like a potion. I will admit these are a little disappointing because they're only one-sided. It's a two-sided coin, but the red color is only on the one side, not the other side. So that's the red, and then there is a blue as well. I tend to think Diablo with mana potions. So we have a blue as well. Really cool, neat little... Potion tokens, I would, again, I would love to have these for D&D or Dungeons and Dragons uh, style games so I can actually hand my players potions so they don't forget they have them. 
So that is the Adventure Potions set. Next, we are going to move on to Atlantis. So this is the Atlantis set. Atlantis, I apologize because my blue screen is set up to get rid of blue. So here, what we'll do is go Atlantis set this way. At least then you can see that. All right, now what I like about these right away is at least this coin. Well, let's start, yeah, and we'll start with the, with the penny. These are not just perfectly round. There's like a notch on the top of it. It's got a maze pattern on the one side, some hieroglyphs, and then a trident on the other. And I like the notch. Like, that's just a nice touch, something that makes it unique. And then the silver has an A on it for Atlantis, I assume, with some, like, writing in the background. And then the A is actually cut out of the coin. So you can actually see through the coin. You can see my fingers through it here. And, again, it's, it's got an abstract pattern on it. I don't recognize the pattern very well. These are, feels like a little bit, so this was a little bit thin, thinner. The copper was a little bit thinner than the other. And then we have this one that has the hole through it, which um, going with historic coins would be a way to tr carry these coins as you would put them on a string, and it's through an octopus's head. Again, some hieroglyphs on the edge, and on the back we have a mermaid and a crab. Again, hole right through it. These look very primitive compared to the other ones. Like, they're purposely not quite centered correctly. Like, they look they look uh, like more ancient, right? They, they have a, a more ancient feel to them. Weight, again, is pretty good. Again, we'll stack them up so you can see the different sizes. So here are the three different sizes and the thickness. All right. Up next, we have Norse Gods. So we are moving on to sorry, blue. the Norse Gods set from Legendary Metal Coin Season 6. These ones are, are taking it out on uh, the Norse, Norse Gods are not happy and they're taking it out on the piece of paper that was in here. So again, love the sound. I love metal coins. I really do. So on the copper, we have our Norse God with a big horned helm with some what looks like Futhark runes on the outside edge. I am not going to try to translate those right now. I bet you someone online has. And the Midgard Serpent on the back. I, similar to the Atlantis coins, these are rougher. They don't look like nice, finished, polished coins. They look more ancient, which fits. Then, on the silver, uh, what do we have there? Am I looking at it at the wrong angle? I am not recognizing what that pattern is, and I'm sure it's just I'm not holding it the right way. And then the other side has a Thor's hammer with some knot work in the background. Well, you all get to take a guess at what that's supposed to be, because I don't recognize it. Then finally, we move on to the gold. Which, ah, there we go, that's a Norse god as well. I'm going to guess the silver is probably Loki or something, and I just didn't hit the right angle to actually see the face. So there you go, the gold Norse god's coin. Seeing as they're Norse gods, there's got to be a god in there somewhere. I don't know. I'm, I'm obviously not holding it at the right angle to see the Norse god there. Same deal as before. We'll stack them. These are all the same thickness, nice and thick. Again, the copper a little bit smaller than the silver, a little bit smaller than the gold. Edges are flat on these. We got more to go. It's going to be a longer video. All right, something unique. Planet. So these are the Planet series. Um, we are starting off with silver. They've got a very unique pattern on the background that shows three of the planets from our solar system. And then the other side... Oh, wow, I am not... Again, not quite seeing what it's... Oh, okay, I see it. It's a satellite over a planet. That took me a second. So we have a satellite over a planet. Then we move... Oh, sorry, I should have started with bronze. The bronze has a rocket. So what's interesting about these is they're oval. They're a completely different shape than any of the other ones. Oh, I love the back of that. It's got uh, the Earth from the moon, it looks like. So from the planet's surface, looking out with uh, like a Challenger-style rocket on the other side. Then we have the gold, which has a galaxy on the one side. And I am not sure on the other. I think that's the stuff that's on the Voyager probe, the stuff that's etched into the side. No? Or maybe it's constellations. Constellations, sorry. Those are constellations. I see the big dipper now. Constellations. So disadvantage to this set. 
Oh, they are slightly. They are really close in size. Really close. That's going to be very difficult for someone who has a color blindness issue to tell apart except by the patterns. And these aren't as deeply etched as some of the other sets and might be harder to tell apart by your fingers. Still look cool though. And I do like the oval look. That's definitely unique. <laughs> Sorry, I'm seeing some of the ones over here and I'm like, whoa, look at that. That's so neat. We're getting there. We're getting there. It's coming. Ah, some non-round coins. Non-round coins. The forged dwarven coins. So the forged dragon were very much like professional looking coins. I have a feeling these are going to be like that. And I got to say, right off the bat, I love this hexagonal shape. They're super deep cut. So similar to the forged dragons, I got to say, so far I'm most impressed by the forged sets. So we have a helm here on one side, followed by an anvil on the other. What more perfect things to show off dwarven heritage there. Really like this bronze coin. Followed up with the silver coin, which has a bearded dwarf on it. Looks very much like a Warhammer Troll Slayer. He's got the, the mostly bald head with a uh, mohawk there. Other side has a two a double-bladed battle axe with like something that looks kind of like the Gates of Moria or something there on the back. Remember, all dwarves are Art Deco, all elves are Art Nouveau. And then finally, we have some type of Dwarven King, an abstract Dwarven face with uh, long braided hair and beard, wearing a helmet. And on the other side, two hammers behind a shield. That is so deeply cut. I don't know if you can see it well on the camera, but like I can feel every bit of that with my finger. Like I can feel every tiny little piece of that. These are nice. These are these. I am most impressed by these. I think these even beat out the dragons. So these are hexagonal shaped. Uh, again, going smaller in size from uh, the gold down to the copper. Thickness is all the same. Nothing on the edges though. So that is something we have recommended to legendary metal coins to potentially add some kind of etching to the edges so that every coin feels different on the edges. That's something they hadn't thought of before. And I do have to thank Tabletop Bellhop fan Red Meeple Ryan for that suggestion. He is a blind meeple who often points out things that I personally wouldn't notice being a perfectly able person. Next we have Pixel Art Unit. Uh, not something I'm looking forward to checking out, but sure. Uh, if you've got any Minecraft fans in your family, uh, this could be your... Wow, okay. I'm, I'm amused by it. So the copper shows two mugs. And a, and a C, like a copper symbol, it's perfectly square. And yes, everything's pixelated. And on the back, it actually says copper in a pixelated font. I'm not recognizing what the picture is. Oh, it's a dragon. There we go. It's a dragon. Some of these, you have to take it to get it the right way. It's a dragon who has something coming out of its mouth, like a coin. So there you go. The copper pixel art coin. Then we have the silver, which very similar, has a big S, looks like a dollar sign, and a pile of coins. And then we have someone talking. Uh, it says silver, and there's like an NPC dwarf here who's trying to say something. I cannot make out what he is trying to say. If it's anything in particular. Fear not, my lady. So there you go. Fear not, my lady. On the back of the silver. And then we have the gold. Again, pixelated art, a big G showing some gold bars. And on the other side, we have my lady, it seems. We have a princess with a crown that says help. Something help. Help game me? It looks like it says game me. Something me. Save me would make more sense. Maybe it's save me. Help save me. A little silly they went with the tried and true princess that has to be rescued trope, but you know what? It is tried and true and people recognize it. There are the four, the three different sizes of these. I gotta say, these are not for me. Not overly impressed with that set, but I know there's enough pixel gamers out there that love the style. All the power to them. Not for me. Two more to go. This is another nice, unique set. Oh, forged again. Forged cultist. So again, these, yeah, forged have more depth than any of the other ones. I really like these forged ones. So starting off, uh, these are great for your Cthulhu campaign. 
You've got a, a, a Egyptian mummy, you know, a Nyarlathotep or whatever with a bunch of tentacles on the outside. Really well textured. Again, these are um, not well rounded. They've got notches on the edges. They seem ancient and beat up. And then we have a lidless eye on the other side surrounded by a bunch more eyes and some cryptic text. Nice thickness to this. It seems nice and beat up like the, the cultists minted them themselves. Followed by a silver which shows some kind of, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know enough Nithos mythology to know if this is anything, but something in space it looks like. Some supernovas and eyes and all kinds of weird cryptic symbols around it. And then on the other side we have um, like a beholder whose eye stalks are way too long. It's like the flying spaghetti monster or something here with an eyeball on the end and all kinds of tentacles with eyes on the end. Neat. Again, the, the depth of these, the forged coins are definitely my favorite of this. I love the way I can feel that eye. Like, I can even feel the iris in there. Really nice. And then finally, we have more eyes on tentacles, but this is more like a massive nest of eyes in the middle with all kinds of vines coming off it. And then on the other side, we have like a, a six-pointed tentacly symbol inside a round circle with six points inside another circle. I love the depth of these. Yeah, forged for the win. All right, the last set. I actually saved these for last when I saw them because I was really impressed by this. This is the Adventure Weapons. So the final set in Adventure Coins, Legendary Metal Coins, Season 6. I don't know what I would use these for. These are the heaviest of the bunch. Uh, they are all the same size. And we're going to start off with this Battle Axe. The thing is, it's a 3D battle axe with inner ring, but it's all cut out except for the axe. So the axe is almost like, or axe, hammer. This is definitely a hammer. Sorry, it is a, a hammer with a symbol on it and a handle, and everything's cut out except for the ring and the hammer. This is a nice, thick, ring-like token. I don't know what I'd use it for. Maybe inspiration in a D&D &D game. Um, I guess it could represent that, hey, you have a hammer, but it would take on a, I don't know how many of these may, they make if there's ones for every weapon type. So we have the hammer. We have an axe, which is similar. It's, it's got a round outside with a bunch of runes on it, and then the axe in the middle, and everything else is cut out. You can see right through the coin. And they're both, uh, it's all two-sided. And then finally, we have a long sword, which is done even more interesting than the other. So this one's two-sided, but you can see almost all the details on this long sword. And again, there's a circle on the outside, but then there's also a, an inner circle. And then on the back, you only get to see, like, you only see what comes through those two circles. So you don't get to see the full sword. You just get to see a bit of the hilt and, the, and a bit of the blade. Whereas on the other side, you can see most of the sword. What neat pieces. Though I don't know exactly what I want to use them with. But those are nice. These are the thickest of the coins, heaviest I've held. All the same size. All the same thickness. All the same uh, diameter. But I love how well they're cut out. Again, I have no idea what I would use these for. I don't know what board game I'd put them in. Maybe first player tokens for a bunch of fantasy games. I take these three and I put them in three different fantasy games I own as first player tokens. Because these are nice, hefty. I almost wish there was a way to put it. Like you could put a string through these because they have holes in them. But I don't think they'd stay up. These are almost necklace worthy. Alright, there you have it. Everything available in the Legendary Metal Coin Season 6 from Draw Lab Games. Currently up on Kickstarter, but if it's not, you can order these from the Draw Lab website. Links of all that will be below. I was extremely impressed by these. This is everything you get, three of each. When ordering, you can do it different. You can get tons of these. A, a standard set is 24 coins based on a number of copper, silver, and gold. Uh, this is the sampler set. This is called the the collector set, which includes one of every coin from Le Legendary Metal Coin Series 6. Uh, good mix of different styles, different shapes, different textures. Uh, most impressed myself by the Forged set. So there's a dwarf, Forged Dwarves set. There was a Forged... Oh, now I'm going to forget. <laughs> there was a Forged Dwarven set, a Forged Dragon set, and another one. Um, then some really cool pieces like these that I just think would be really cool for a D&D game, like potions. And then the Adventure Weapons set that I don't even know what I'd use for, but they're really cool because the coins are, are see-through, like, like they're cut out, so the weapons really stick out around inside of rings. Overall, extremely impressed. Um, there are sets here that aren't my favorite, I'll admit, but there's sets here I love. And what's great about this is the variety. 
the number of different sets that are available here, there's going to be something everyone's going to like. Now, I admit, these are not cheap coins. Uh, these are luxury items. These are things you're going to buy to improve your existing games. Uh, gaming is a hobby, and if you want the luxury of it, you got to pay for it. So I personally think it's very reasonable. I think it's... Uh, I, I don't... I'm not going to look it up offhand, but I think it's very um, reasonably priced, but it's not cheap. So that is Legendary Metal Coins Season 6. Again, I am Motuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge. You can find me all over the internet as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. And I'd love it if you checked out our website at tabletopbellhop.com for more great gaming content. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, and for us to continue to improve our setup and display, so I'm maybe not using a felt mat, or maybe even moving these down to our game room, uh, please consider going to patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop and consider tipping your bellhop. That's it for me tonight. That was Legendary Metal Coins from Draw Lab Games. Be sure to check out the Kickstarter before it ends. Good night and game on.